Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at what the Cardano price is doing at the moment. And we are doing a TA update. And we also want to take a look at what the Bitcoin price is doing at the moment. Thanks again for everybody who likes these videos and hits the like button, subscribes and leaves a comment. If you really like the content, please check out my second channel in the description where I teach technical analysis every day and also consider to uh, join the membership where you can get access to Telegram and Discord and also to one weekly live stream, at least one weekly live stream and a few extras. So let's take a look at the Bitcoin price first. Here that is a bit messy at the moment, but I'm going to switch it off in a minute. Just want to show you that the target was the 38,500, um, which is the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, which is here, 38,000, well, 400 on, on here, but it's pretty much the 500 um, range. Um, and I don't have it accurate on here because, you know, it all, always depends on which exchange you're looking at and prices are very dynamic. What is Bitcoin doing at the moment? Bitcoin is dropping further. You know, we came from here, which was the flash crash, try to break through certain levels here at 48,500, broke then all the way down. The market started to roll over again and we then dropped further down to actually just below 40,000. And we, um, you know, we put this trend line on the chart. We are currently actually above it again. So, you know, we had one, two, three touches here. There's actually a fourth touch. We broke through that descending trend line now we are above it again. Now that is still the descending trend line showing the downtrend. We are now on the daily below all the 50, well, the 20, the 50 and the 200 day moving average, which isn't great. It's not a big problem when we are below it for the you know short term, but it is a signal, you know, a downtrending signal. Clearly on the weekly, it's not looking that bad, but on the daily, it's not looking great in terms of, um, in terms of the moving averages. Also here we can see that the RSI, we are below 50. Um, yes, it's recovering a little bit, but there's just doing what the price is doing. I can't see at the moment a slowing down of the downtrend. And that's because I don't see a, um, a bullish divergence here, neither on the RSI nor on the MACD. So it just indicates to me that on a daily, we might continue with this downtrend unless we can see that bullish divergence forming, which would indicate a slowing down of the trend. What we can see here on the hourly is as well that we, you know, try to push a bit lower. This was after my last update video yesterday here, where we really pushed down to 30, 39,500. Um, then we had a little bit of a recovery. I did say, you know, maybe that was it potentially, but for that we would need to push back up. Um, I think about 44,000 to make a new high, which of course we didn't do. We made a weak recovery here. We are above that trend line again, but let's be honest, it doesn't really look like a recovery here. I think we might see another move to the downside. And the reason I say that is we are really very close to that trend line again. Um, if I think if I went to a, a smaller time scale, which I don't want to do, we would see something like a descending triangle again. And I think there might be another drop to the downside because buyers can't push the price away from that descending trend line. Again, we haven't made a new higher high. We've actually made a lower low. So I think we haven't seen the worst yet. And I did say that yesterday. Let's go to Cardano. That's ultimately what you guys are all here for. We want to start with the weekly today. Whoops. And we can take a look at the weekly moving averages. We can see that we are still above the weekly moving averages, 20, 50 and 200, which is very important for Cardano um, and we are, we found support here at the 20 week moving average, which is really good. However, we can see that the RSI is declining at the moment, still in the bullish territory above 50 on the weekly. And the MACD is also still bullish at the moment, but we are about to make a bearish crossover on the MACD, depending on how the week is changing. I mean, we've got a few more days, like four or five days um, until that weekly candle is closing. But that indicates um, then how it could continue over in the next few months. So let's go and take a quick look at the daily chart. So what is the daily doing? On the daily, you know, yesterday um, when I did that update, we dropped down to here 190. 
and after that I did an update video and we're going to take a look at that in the um, on the hourly chart but also here the RSI on the daily just dropped well it is actually quite far below 50 now seems to recover a little bit at the minute just because the price bounced back up after that drop yesterday to 190 or slightly below 190 and the MACD is it's not really recovering at the moment we already made that bearish crossover that we talked about end of August and it's now crossed the zero line to the downside as well. We are below the 50 and below the 20 day moving average and above the 200. So still sort of in an uptrend, but in a short term downtrend, definitely. So let's take a look at what the hourly chart is doing to get a bit more short term uh, feeling what the short term price might be doing or the price in the short term. But again, very similar picture to Bitcoin at the moment haven't managed to recover really. I think we could actually extend that trend line that we had here further and then would probably see that we would bounce off there, that we did bounce off there to some degree. Um, probably not quite. We had that trend line on here. We had the touches. We went all the way here. Oh yeah, I think so actually. But I mean, we broke through it already can see it here we have these touches here not really a touch here I think I need to move it a little bit down but for some reason it doesn't do it anyway we found some support there I think here you go we had it here as resistance found it here as support again so it's again a descending trend line in my view um, yes we broke through it once but um, now we're above it still but it's still descending still a downtrend on the hourly we can see that we are again below the 50 on the RSI, slightly bearish, can't see a bullish divergence at the moment, which indicates the downtrend isn't slowing down. The MACD, yes, a bullish cross, but we are still below 50. So all of that is telling me together with the price action, which is telling me, you know, we haven't actually made it above um, the last higher high. So we haven't made it above 220 yet or 218. We have actually made a lower low, you know, not a higher low. I think, again, we might see us dropping down to maybe closer to 190 again or maybe even that 185 target that I gave you um, yesterday or a few days ago. That's pretty much it for now. We're going to observe it. Not much happened since yesterday's update. That's why I keep it brief. Hope you liked it. I will update you later today. Um, if you liked it, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.